How's it going, folks? I got two of these cherry wheat uh, beers left. Sam Adams. Mighty fine. Sorry about the length of my last video. Um, partly because it'll get watched even less than the others do, but it doesn't matter. I hate to break a, a chapter up, because sometimes points can be missed in between. Yeah, one of the problems with uh, the BOM is uh, when a guy's preaching character, fictional character here, is preaching, they don't see it came to pass much. Um, so, I believe we start with a drink. Some more David Bowie. Boy, he really surprised me in the movie The Prestige. I didn't had no idea that was, Nikolai Tesla was actually David Bowie. That was awesome. Chapter 6 of Alma. And now it came to pass that after Alma had made an end of speaking unto the people of the church, which was established in the city of Zarahemla, he ordained priests and elders by laying on his hands according to the order of God to preside and to watch over the church. It's not a lot coming to pass, so I might just start drinking for the fuck of it. And it came to pass that whosoever did not belong to the church who repented of their sins, were baptized unto repentance, and were received into the church. Isn't that nice? Cherry. And it also came to pass, I think they're becoming conscious of the fact they're overusing it, to chapter 7, it doesn't come to pass once. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I want to read it because there's some really interesting points in chapter 7. At least one is going to really go over like a fart in church. <laughs> and it also came to pass that whosoever did belong to the church that did not repent of their wickedness and humble themselves before God I mean those who were lifted up in the pride of their hearts. You can spot them because they're wearing fancy clothes like silk. The same were rejected. And their names were blotted out. That their names were not numbered among those of the righteous. Weed out them black sheep. And thus... They began to establish the order of the church in the city of Zarahemla. Now I would that ye should understand that the word of God was liberal unto all, that none were deprived of the privilege of assembling themselves together to hear the word of God. You always have the right to do that. Nevertheless, the children of God were commanded that they should gather themselves together oft. Commanded. And join in fasting and mighty prayer. Heroic prayer. Begging God. And groveling in humility. On behalf of the welfare of the souls, of those who knew not God. Well, wait till we're dead and baptize us. We'll be in heaven. Thanks. <sighs> I think 
that's the last record. And now it came to pass that when Alma had made these regulations, he departed from them. The people, not the regulations. <laughs> he departed from them, yea, from the church, which was in the city of Zarahemla, and went over upon the east of the river Sidon, into the valley of Gideon, there having been a city built, which was called the city of Gideon. I was right. Yeah. They named a they named a city after that stiff after all. And a valley. Uh, which was in the valley that was called <coughs> Gideon. Being called after the man who was slain by the hand of Nehor with the sword. And Alma went and began to declare the word of God unto the church, which was established in the valley of Gideon. I'm not repeating myself, I swear. This is linear. According to the revelation of the truth of the word, which had been spoken by our fathers, and according to the spirit of prophecy which was in him, according to the testimony of Jesus Christ in B.C. 83. The Son of God, who should come to redeem his people from their sins and the holy order by which he was called. And thus it is written. Amen! Hey, you know what? I'm going to end right here, and then I'll do chapter 7. This is going to be my shortest drinking video yet. See you guys shortly.